Good afternoon, this is Sangeeta Saxena, editor Aviation and Defense Universe, getting you live from Aero MRO 2022. And we have with us the man himself, the president of the MRO Association of India, Mr. Bharat Malkani. Welcome, Bharat, to ADU's chat room. Wonderful to have you with us. And good afternoon to you, Sangeeta. It's a pleasure to be here. And uh, Bharat, we are here at an event, which is a post-COVID event, and we are seeing a very major influx of people at the event today. What does it mean for you? So, Sangeeta, even we are astounded, to be honest, at the level of participation. Uh, we anticipated between 100 and 150 people. We've got 300 here. Uh, partly, I think there is a uh, what people call the revenge holiday or the revenge attending of events. But more than that, it's because of the genuine interest that India has now put on the global stage with its aviation industry. Uh, a substantial number of participants at this time are come from France, from the United States, from Canada. Matter of United Kingdom and Canada are our partner uh, countries in this event. So it's a mix of both. We are here at an event which is very majorly a civil aviation orientation. Now, civil went, civil aviation went as a market, went through tough times during COVID and it's reviving. So just let us, let me know what as an MRO industry has it affected. Is the revival affecting positively? Sangeeta, first of all, let me update you a bit. Tomorrow is our military aviation event. The MRO industry is aircraft agnostic, whether it's a civil aircraft or a military aircraft. I'll give you one example. The Boeing 737 is a civil aircraft. In the hands of the Indian Navy, it's called the PHI. It's the same airframe, different systems, different payloads. One carries passengers, the other carries mission system. Uh, the MRO industry is upbeat on the growth of Indian aviation. India has become the world's fastest growing aviation market. Ostensibly, we are set, we are told that we are now the third largest aircraft market in the world for the civil side. I don't have data on the military side, but clearly with the real push and with full respect to our Honorable Prime Minister, the Atma Nirbhar Bharat, he inaugurated the C295 factory in Vadodara just last week on Sunday. We expect both sides to be pushing hard. And as long as planes are flying, you need them to be safe. As long as you need them to be safe, you need MRO. Absolutely. Well, well, that could have been absolutely the last word. But let me tell you one thing. Before I close, I really wanted to ask you one thing. Uh, MRO in civil is not a security issue. But MRO in military could be a security issue. So how does one plan that uh, everything remains in India for the Indian forces safe when it's in the hand of an MRO here? We have to grow our capability. Our airlines have to support us. And while government initiative has been extremely positive, we admit more needs to be done in order to ensure both in terms of security of the business for Indian industry and security of the work that we do. That means a sense of confidence. One of the things we are pushing for strongly is the recognition of the DGCA certification globally on par with FAA, American, and EASA, European. It's one of the weaknesses that we have faced and we believe that the DGCA certificate is as good if not better in terms of regulatory approvals for any of these organizations. So we are pushing hard for that and that will make a huge difference when these bilaterals are done. And I think you will be able to answer this question yourself. Right. And at the end, you know, I really wanted to ask you was that the event which is happening now, it also is a networking event for an industry which was very small till very latest, but suddenly grown up. So what, what sort of a platform do you envisage as an, as an association for the MRO industry? We are actually the platform. MRO Association has members as large as Air India Engineering, as small as a company that may be repairing a single aircraft in a village as a flying school, and everybody in between. We actually take pride in saying we are 100% membership of all the Indian MROs. We are giving a platform for our members to have an outreach with various OEM investors, uh, airlines, aircraft operators at one event, one show basis. We do it year on year uh, for you 
As you know, this is our tenth year. We made it to double digits. It was started in a small room by a few people ten years ago, four of us. We are now 300 plus, and uh, it's a pleasure to be here and talk about. It. Thank you very much and congratulations to you on the 10th anniversary and also that, you know, it's wonderful to see the growth. I've also been seeing it for the last Thank 10 you. years nearly. And it's a wonderful growth we've observed for the MROs as well as for the association. Wish you all the best for the future. And thanks to you and all the media that stood by us like a rock, let's be fair. <laughs> you have given us the right platform always despite us being insignificantly small in those days. So thank you all. I want to wish you thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Bharat. Wonderful to have you in the